Dragon's Dogma 2 gameplay. everyone, I'm Hideaki Itsuno, the director of Dragon's Dogma 2. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a narrative-driven action RPG set in an immersive fantasy world designed- I need to play the first one before this shit comes out. Do they have a date for this yet? ...and to place player choice at the heart of the gameplay experience. The action gameplay is designed to challenge your creativity, and although this is a single-player adventure, AI-controlled companions will accompany you throughout the experience. Today, I'd like to show you a little of what you can expect from the world of Dragon's Dogma 2 with this new gameplay footage. All right, let's get to it. In Dragon's Dogma 2, up to three- I love how it's got this Fellowship of the Ring vibe. You know, where you're always traveling with a bunch of other people. AI control beings called pawns can join you on your adventures. Players can choose from four starting vocations that determine how they will play. I want to say also, like, you know how I know that this game isn't fucking around? It's because they have a cat girl race, and they're not dressed like they're in an OnlyFans advertisement. Like, they're actually cat people. They're not, like, hot girls with cat ears. Bro, that means that you're in- you're in it? for a fucking fantasy story. You're not in it for some kind of weeb, simp farming, skin selling, fucking bullshit. Of course, you will be able to That's change impressive. your vocation at any time by visiting I vocation guilds. I saw guilds. this picture, I was like, wow, they, they really now, mean business. let's look at the fighter vocation. Okay, that's what matters, but do they have a two-handed sword, like a big great sword? Wielding a one-handed sword and shield, the fighter excels in melee oh, combat. See that parry? As a fighter, Damn. you can cut down enemies with a sword and protect yourself and your party. I'm actually party. so glad they have somebody who's, like, playing the game who actually knows what the fuck they're doing. ...using your shield. As we keep going, we can see some harpies in the distance. As an archer, yeah. you'll be better suited to take down enemies above you. That's cool. Let's see what they can do. The archer is a vocation that uses a bow and arrow to attack enemies from a distance. Okay. Sure. Make full use of your arsenal, including exploding or blighting arrows. You can I saw somebody floating around and I was like, wait a minute, is this Starfield? And then I remembered that, no, that makes sense because it's like a mage. I'm going to move this up, by the way, just a little bit so y'all can read the whole thing. So aim at your enemies like a third-person shooter. The monsters of Dragon's cool. Dogma so 2 like behave organically in like the world Fortnite. around them and will even react to players by using their wits against you. Next, I would like to show you the mage in action. Okay. Mages excel at long-range magical attacks, as well as healing and support spells that bolster your party with various enchantments to give allies an advantage in battle. The more honest, advanced and the powerful mage, the magic uh, is, the longer the incantation will take. These mage spells don't really seem super exciting to me. Oh, that was kind of cool. Let's watch that again. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that was cool. It was all right. Yeah. In addition to the pawns you adventure with, you will occasionally act with other inhabitants of the world. Okay. What's this? We're trapped. Just climb over the rock. Oh, shit. That's not a rock. Oh my god. Oh. It's a Johnny Somali. Lastly, let's take a look at the thief. Oh my god. As a thief, no. you use daggers to strike at your enemies, relying on agility and quick attacks. 
use swift step to quickly move away from enemies after sure. an attack. Okay, so you can dodge. The key strategy for the thief against massive monsters is to find openings and cling on to the enemy to deal damage. Cool. Fighting head-on is always an option, but it's a good idea to utilize the environment wow. around you while engaging with enemies. Oh, that's badass. Holy shit. Between your chosen vocation, diverse no terrain... No way you're gonna cut his legs and have him fall back. ...and the particular no monster way. you're up against, each encounter challenges players and their party no. to use their oh my creativity God. to succeed. What? Two nations... That is badass! ...prosper in the world of Dragon's Dogma 2. Vermin. Oh, like this game looks amazing. I love the. Uh, like I, I think this, this is this is what I like to see, right? I mean, you make a game like this, I'm gonna play it. The human kingdom and Batal, the land of Beastron. Yeah. I've never played in Vermin. The Arisen who slay the dragon have ruled as kings for generations. Is it on Steam? This land of lush meadows and rolling hills is ripe for exploration. In contrast, Batal is a rugged canyon nation with a city built on the site of ancient ruins. It is home to the Bistrin and their unique culture. The nation of Batal offers players a different experience from the human kingdom with diverse environments to explore and monsters to encounter. Just a minute. So like, which one is it? Is it this one here? This uh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen? Okay. A different experience from the human kingdom with diverse it's environment. $5, bro. It's literally. Yo, guys, look. Five fucking dollars. Minus 84%. That's 800% value, guys. It's normally, what, 30 bucks? Now it's five bucks. It's an old game, though? Yeah, well, if you haven't played it, it's a new game. Isn't that crazy? Like, I never played, um, Metroid, uh, Super Metroid. Whenever I play it, it'll be a new game for me. Batal offers players a different experience from the human kingdom, with diverse environments to explore and monsters to encounter. I feel like I need to start paying a lot more attention to what Capcom makes. In your adventures, you might come across people who call out to you. Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Other times, you might receive quests from people who you aid. Monster Hunter? Thank heavens. Thought I'd never make it. If I might be Tech so bold to impose upon you Hunter. again, would you be willing to accompany me to the cemetery and safeguard me from harm? Pawns with knowledge of a quest may be able to guide you to the right location. But it is up to the player to decide whether to follow them or not. Pawns support you throughout your adventures and may come to your aid when you are in trouble. Like they gotta come to you. That's so cool. Holy shit. Wow. To complete your quest, Dude, look at you that. can Hold up. And may Hold come up. to your aid when you are in trouble. That is clean. To complete your quest, you can ride ox carts to travel to major locations. Oh, but be like aware, that one part of as you might get attacked en route to your destination and have to decide how to tackle the situation. During the ride, you can choose to close your eyes to quickly arrive at your destination. Right. Time is ever passing, even while riding an ox cart, and the environment around the player constantly changes. Nighttime. I feel like, I really feel like this might be a game that I try to 100%. Like, if this game is what I hope it's gonna be, like, every time I see this game, I hope that one day I get a game like this where all of those people are real players, you know? Like, that's what I've always wanted. Is especially dangerous. This is incredible. I love this. With no light to eliminate your surroundings, you will be enveloped in pitch black darkness where you can't even see your feet. 
Also, there are dangerous monsters that only appear at night, so you need to be careful when adventuring in the dark. If you have a camping kit, you can find a campsite to spend the night and recover your health. Wow. Is it, it, this game isn't co-op at all, right? Is the first game co-op? I think I've asked this like five times. Is the first game co-op? Good evening, Arisen. No. Tis the honor of my life to share your journey, Arisen. To wrap up, I'd like to introduce some advanced vocations that become available as you progress in the story. Magic Archer, oh, that's cool. The Mystic Spear Hand combines magic attacks and weapon-based physical attacks. A good all-rounder, they use their duo spear at close range and magic at long range. That's really cool. They can also use magic that. to block an enemy's movement or throw multiple items at once. I love seeing the uh, the old style chimeras, you know, because like a lot of games from like back in the day had chimeras that looked like this, um, with like a, a goat head, especially like a lion head with like a snake tail and stuff like this. I remember Gauntlet had this. I I, I love this. It's very nostalgic for me. The Magic Archer is a vocation that Great further nice. specializes in long-range attacks with magical arrows. On top of healing and providing support to your allies, they can learn a skill that releases a powerful attack over a wide area in exchange for reducing their own maximum HP. And wow. of course, there are other unique vocations you can look forward to. We have a playable version of Dragon's Dogma arrow. 2 at That's the cool. Tokyo Game Show Capcom booth. Depending on the choices they make, each player can experience very different playthroughs. Wow. We're very much looking forward to the impressions of those who get a chance to play. Dragon's Dogma 2 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam. Please stay tuned for more information. Thank you. Fuck yes. There it is. There we go, boys. Holy shit, look at this. I think right now, unironically, this might be the game that I'm the most excited for. Like, I I'm trying to think, is there any other game that I'm more excited for than this? I genuinely don't know. They don't even have a release date for it. So, like, I'm expecting a 2025. I'm expecting, like, a mid-2025, maybe a late 2024. We're probably not going to see this game for the better part of a year minimum. However, uh, that gives me plenty of time to play the first one, and so I'm all right. Did you play the original? I did not. I did not play the original. So that means that I have all that time to play the original and get into that, too.